we commemorate Fatima the Zahra Salamullah alayha as a woman. She represents motherhood. She represents a spouse from the female side. She represents the intelligence in the female side. She represents the most important characters we know besides all the other characters is her humility and modesty. For any Muslim who loves Ahlul Bayt, when they remember Fatima the Zahra, the first thing they see is modesty, humility. You have to. You can't see a woman who is bold and belligerent in public and say, that is how I remember Fatima the Zahra. You can't. You see her as a noble woman. You see her as a woman who is full of wisdom. A woman who is pure. A mother who brings pure children. No man lays eyes on them. This is Fatima the Zahra. Alayha. She was so loved by the Prophet. That even as a child, when she would walk into the room, the Prophet would stand up. Because he says, he, the Prophet says, Fatima to, uh, Fatima bid'atum min. She is from me. He was even called the mother of her father. That is how he used to address her like his mother. He used to look at his daughter and address her like his mother. This is how great Fatima the Zahra alayha, was. A role model. Fatima the Zahra alayha, was very beautiful very pure just like in our communities that girl who is beautiful who is hidden from abuse who doesn't show her face wildly on facebook for example the one who controls her adab her akhlaq that even her hijab when she talks she's telling you back off not because i'm not attractive not because i'm not attracted but i'm attracted to a higher goal which is to see a higher existence. And that's fundamental. And Allah chooses that. So she was loved so much by the Prophet that she was the only woman who came against the Christians. When Quran says, Abna'ana wa abna'akum wa nisa'ana wa nisa'akum wa anfusana wa anfusakum Our sons and your sons our women and your women. This is when the Christians came to debate the Prophet in the eighth year of Hijrah. There were all his wives were there. The Prophet's wives were there. Some people say the Prophet had more than one daughter. Well, if they did, where were they? Because here, this is a critical point. Nisa ana wa nisa akum. Plural. Our women. They say the Prophet came with Imam Hussein on one arm, Imam Hassan with the arm. Behind him was only one woman. And behind her was Amir al-Mu'mineen Ali ibn Abi Talib salam, And they were walking towards the Christians. And the Christians, they say Abdul Masih, looked at them and said, If these people raise their hands in the sky to pray for our destruction, none of us will exist. Back off. This is Fatima the Zahra, that she came as a woman. And look how she was guarded. The Prophet is in front. She's in between two men. Not because she's inferior, but because she is so modest that she is presenting her, herself with such dignity. We should see our women this way. Unfortunately, in our societies today, we take pride when we see our women exposed. We think our women should go outside and expose themselves, thinking we're living in a free world. Our women should have the freedom of expression. Sure, but there is a boundary to this expression. I can even express right now, but if I start using vulgar words, you will be repulsed by it. I will be repulsed by it and we'll walk away from this conversation. I can say, but I'm expressing my freedom. You'll say, hey, there's a limit to where you draw the line, even to your use of words. This is Fatima Zahra, 